this is something that's a little bit embarrassing to talk about for me and i'm not gonna lie being the understanding partner being the low maintenance partner being the keeping the peace girlfriend being the good girl in fact at this point you can say being the pick me the pick me shot because sis all of this is screaming pick me welcome or welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel i can't believe this is the last video that i'm making for the year 2023 i am so excited that i get to be here like i get to experience the last day of december 2023 god is good but anyway i want to talk to you guys about the things that i have stopped doing that has improved my life drastically things that i have been doing or i was doing that i thought were okay improved my image as a person but in reality it was giving me the opposite results things that i completely had to stop doing for the betterment of my health my life my safety and also helping me to have better relationships with other people and also a better relationship with myself now you guys know how i am on this channel when i can't cover everything that i want to say on a particular topic in one video which is usually a lot to take in at once i split it okay like i split it in different videos and i already know that this topic in particular is going to be one that i would have to speak about multiple times on this channel because obviously there are a lot of things that have changed in my life there are a lot of things that have made me this person that you guys are watching right now i have shedded my old ways and my old self and i have seen a completely different person my life has changed my mindset has changed my being Lucy has changed before I talk your ear off let's just get into the things that I have stopped doing to live a better life now the first thing on my list is I prioritize working smart rather than working hard the misconception about working hard is you literally have to work hard you need to have four jobs three jobs do everything by yourself to be able to get a good result or to be wealthy and we've had this misconception for the longest time at least I did for so long you know juggling so many things by myself doing so much at the same time i just kind of had this thought in my head that reward means hard work and that hard work needs to come from me putting my hands into multiple things not getting any rest i mean at the end of the day when it's successful and then i get the desired result i can look back and say i worked hard for that you know i did it by myself i got it by myself literally that's the mindset that i have that was one thing that led me into burnout that was my path into getting tired my health diminishing you could have one path one job that leads you to your desired wealth and results rather than having multiple manual jobs that will make you get there but then you get there burnt out you get there and not be able to enjoy the results you get there and you're just not able to even enjoy the hard work that you've put into it and for so long i wanted to do everything by myself i wanted to get everything done by myself because i felt like that was me being smart outsourcing stuff getting help from people managing my time effectively all that wasn't necessarily thought in my head because i felt like that was a lazy way to be successful not realizing that when you seek out for help when you outsource stuff when you create more time for yourself but there are other things and other people working on your behalf you'd actually get to your desired result quicker say for instance with my youtube channel i always believed in recording my content myself editing my content myself posting everything managing everything and whilst i'm still doing that right now which honestly i'd rather not and in 2024 this is one area that i really need to tackle in terms of outsourcing so many things that i currently do by myself but the only reason why i haven't even gotten that done like someone to edit my videos or someone to you know shoot content for me or all that is because i've searched i've not found what I'm looking for. What I'm saying is I am at the headspace where I'm okay doing that. Prior to now, I wouldn't be okay doing it if that makes sense. Like I wasn't necessarily okay with that because I felt like that'll be me not putting in the work, the actual work into growing my channel and also that I'll be spending money instead of making money. Do you get what I mean? Working smart rather than working hard will get things done quicker in your life effectively and you'd have a better result. And also your health will be restored. Your health will be managed properly because once you're splitting yourself in multiple places, doing everything at one time, 
time your health is suffering for it and you might not see it right now but trust me when you get further along when you've gotten to your desired result or your desired success your health will begin to manifest and your body will tell you but when you're on go 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 and that's where you get problems at the end of the day are you looking for efficient ways to achieve your goal doesn't necessarily mean that it's not well deserved it's still your goal you still achieved your goal but you achieved it with sanity okay that's the main point when you get to the point of really enjoying your success and the goal that you've achieved you would have the full strength you'll be in one piece to enjoy that success but you don't want to get to that point where you have worked so hard and you don't even have the mental state or the help to enjoy that success now the second thing that i had to really look into and stop doing was not prioritizing my friendships or relationships in my life now relationship isn't necessarily intimate relationship or you know boyfriend girlfriend type thing i'm talking about that because if i'm being honest with you i used to be this girl that prioritizes that over my friendships and while i understand that that could actually be the case or that's okay to do there should be a balance like a healthy balance and i didn't know that healthy balance so once i'm in a relationship it's me and my man and my relationship usually would take away from friendships in fact i've told you guys on this channel i wasn't a friendship type of girl i've said that one billion times i didn't really prioritize friendships or value friendships as much one thing that i love about my life right now one thing that has drastically changed me over the years is i am very intentional about my friends Friendships, my friends who I put in my life who I bring into my life I have made a lot of videos talking about friendships on this channel those will be linked down below but this is one thing that I know for a fact has changed me as a person I've been able to have healthy relationships you know know myself better outside some certain spaces like being in a relationship or being solo all the time I've gotten to know a different version of myself working with other people spending time with other people understanding people's perspective of me from a genuine place that's something that I have really 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 enjoyed doing over the past years you know building healthy relationships doing stuff with my girls traveling with my friends you know eating out with my friends having girls and I celebrating holidays with my friends really investing and pouring into my friendships yes it's good to not show you your relationship with your partner or like be invested as much but you still need other people you need a life outside your partner you need to be your own self like you need to have that individuality to be able to keep that intimate relationship to be able to keep your partner because you both have lives that are completely different from each other you need to be your own self when you're in that relationship honestly i'm so glad that i never got like neck deep into losing myself in any relationship although i was here i was this close right but for the most part i just didn't completely lose myself you should be able to both step out of each other's way and do your separate things and still come back and be happy and i feel like a lot of people don't understand that if you're not able to keep a life outside your partner that relationship is not going to last like there's absolutely no way that you make your relationship your all your bread and butter and the relationship will last because you're going to suffocate that person you both will suffocate each other the relationship is going to be so stale it's going to be so boring even if you're married you need to be yourself you need to have your own life going outside your husband outside your wife the third thing that i stopped doing which is so big for me oh my god i feel like this one is one of my biggest breakthrough is i stopped accepting bare minimum from everyone i don't care who you are where you're from what you do how you look i do not care you're not serving me bare minimum okay not anymore and i come from a people pleasing background yes 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 years ago where you know anything goes you know sometimes it's just hard it was just hard for me to you know speak up and say what i really want or i just settle for things just because it's there or i feel comfortable or i can check two boxes while it are struggling you know i don't think it was from a point where i didn't think i deserved those things although i do believe that there was a little bit of lack of confidence in the mix somewhere i just kind of accepted whatever it is that was placed on my table there was also that thing of like i didn't really trust myself as well so whatever felt okay at the time was what i was going to stick with because i wasn't sure if i was going to get much more than that not accepting bare minimum from people is something that i need to stand on business when it comes to that it wasn't just from romantic relationships but also from every and anybody i'm talking even family friends co-workers just pretty much anyone now i am not accepting your low effort minimal rubbish i'm not displeasing myself to please you and i used to be in this place of like i didn't want to offend them people pleasing i didn't want anyone to look at me like i was asking for too much or i was wanting too much that's so sad to talk about because that's the reality of so many people right now but i honestly can't understand because i would have this knot in my chest or in my belly when i know for a fact that this is not what 
I want but I'm accepting it but I can't speak up about it but I feel it inside I used to come from that thought or that mindset of like okay I don't want to bother people so whatever it is it can offer me I'll just take it as long as it's not like bad 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 I'll just take it you should never accept less than what you deserve what you want what you need from anybody okay it doesn't matter if person a person b person c isn't giving you what you want they don't need to have access to you they don't need to be with you because your person the person that you're looking for to give you exactly all that you need and when you meet that person you would realize that that knot you felt in your stomach that guilt you felt for asking for so much they wouldn't even take it as anything they wouldn't see it as anything they would be comfortable they wouldn't even see it as you even asking for anything at all like asking for too much at all you need to understand that that fear of you not speaking out because you don't think you'll find someone it's just in your head it's all what you're thinking but it's not reality put your foot down and ask for what you want how you want it it doesn't matter from whoever friends family all that it doesn't matter your boundaries are your boundaries you're sticking with them if you require certain things from people and in situations best believe you should be demanding to get those things and if they cannot give you those things that's cool the people that will give you those things are right there like they're out there and they will find you soon as long as you're not settling for things because you settling is you closing your door for those right people to come into your life you'll be stuck in a position where you're not moving forward because you have settled and there are people in your life blocking literally standing in front of you and what you truly want and deserve so you need to put your foot on the ground right now and stop accepting bare minimum from people my next one is in line to accepting bare minimum from people this is something that's a little bit embarrassing to talk about for me and i'm not gonna lie being the understanding partner being the low maintenance partner being the keeping the peace girlfriend being the good girl in fact at this point you can say being the pick me the pick me sharp because sis all of this is screaming pick me that's the reason why i said it's a little bit embarrassing when i say being understanding i want to give you guys instances instances like not asking for stuff always trying to chime in always trying to prove that i'm my boss babe always trying to show my hand or give my hand or stretch my hand in situations where i could just literally be a girl and just sit and let myself be taken care of now that i say this i feel like i've mentioned this in a couple of my videos like my past videos when i spoke about not letting myself be feminine enough this is definitely one of those aspects where i just felt like i was too strong in that i am an independent woman i have my shit together you don't need to do anything for me i have to blah, blah, blah. there was a thought in my head that kind of felt like this is what would make me valuable in a relationship or what would make me stand out in a relationship or what would make me you know the one the girl the absolute favorite or the peace you don't want to come off as needy you don't want to come off as a burden you don't want to come off as you know a gold digger or wanting too much or doing too much one thing however that i definitely did not do was go 50 50 with anybody's son anybody's father anybody's boy child or man or boy or whatever you want to call them i found myself leaning into that never really asking for anything never really wanting to ask for anything never really stating what i truly wanted from the man or from the relationship or from the situation that makes sense i never truly required so much from these men for the most part it was bare minimum and one thing you to understand is even if you meet a man that is a provider even if you meet a man that knows what he's supposed to do to keep a woman or to make a woman happy or to add value to a woman's life which I must add, any man that's coming into your life should be able to add value, even if you have something going for yourself. Now, you could meet a man that understands this, that knows this, that was born and raised this and was taught this, but because you are the understanding girlfriend, you don't require him to do these things. You don't want him to do these things. You don't request him to do these things. He wouldn't do them, or he'll just do what is required for him to be in the relationship. Besides, you not wanting all these things, but still giving him what he wants in a relationship, or still having the title or still getting everything from you will definitely translate to him that he doesn't need to do much more than he's already doing to keep you in that relationship so automatically you get bare minimum does that make sense so again let me say this to you you could meet a man that knows how to provide it's embedded in him he just provides right and he could be doing that but in the most basic way ever because the person that he's doing it 
four doesn't require him to go above and beyond or above that basic that he's given so you're not experiencing that man in his full potential because you are being a pick me you are being a low maintenance girlfriend baby don't worry don't don't worry i have it don't worry i got it the guy wants to do don't worry i can do it he wants to get you this you don't have to you know like i'm not like this other girls like i can take it by myself i can do it by myself and he is going to not do it how it should be is when you're with a man that honestly notices that if you're with a good man they should actually call you to other that's the reason why most of the time where we lean into our masculinity is because there are some sassy ass men out there that are comfortable being feminine if you get what i mean but a good man if you're with a good man they would push you back into your femininity and then stay in their masculinity if that makes sense so it also depends on who you're with if you're the right person they will steer you in the right direction trust me but for the most part we're not going to wait for a man to come and make us do that we're going to learn how to sit comfortably in what we want what we require what we request from men moving forward if you know what would make you happy in a relationship or what you require to stay happy or be happy in a relationship request that ask for that it will not remove a strand of hair from your head to just be yourself and be vocal about the things that you truly want you're not going to be living a lie that's why i said in the beginning of the video that like, these are things that i stopped doing to even help my relationships improve because yeah you're being fake to your relationship you're also being fake to yourself not really asking for or requesting for the things that you truly want you're making that man see you in a completely different light than you truly are so he loves that version of you if he truly loves you while that's not who you are and for how long would you continue being that because for the most part when other people are getting the same type of treatment that you truly want you feel sad you're not getting that he doesn't know that you feel sad because you have told him that that is not who you are so sis you need to learn to live in your truth okay this can be a whole video talking about you know bare minimum how you can be the problem and not necessarily your man being the problem which like i said i'm gonna say again there are men that can actually or should actually step up and be men in your life but then you could also be the problem sis like you could be the one that is really digging yourself into a hole and for the longest time i was and i had a whole different concept and perspective when it came to like giving and requesting and providing and all that i had a whole different concept method and everything in my head for the longest time so i lived in that i still have a lot of work to do and put in when it comes to this i know that it's really difficult coming out from that pick me or that low maintenance girlfriend or woman or partner mindset or met mentality it takes a lot of work to come out from there and right now i know i'm still even struggling but sis at least I know that I'm pulling myself and that's the reason why this video is here. It's time for you to stand on business, okay? The last thing on this list and for this video for now is I stopped being in control of everything in my life. This doesn't necessarily mean that I stopped being intentional about things in my life or I stopped looking into things as much in my life. One thing that really, really sunk me so much previously was trying to make sure that everything went my way, how I wanted it to go, how I wanted things to pan out, how I wanted things to be how i wanted people to be how i wanted my relationships to go whether it was romantic relationships or friendships or family i wanted things a certain way and i worked so hard to make sure that picture looked exactly like it i was trying to control everything and everyone in my life and what this does to you is further pull you from these people or these goals or these things that you truly want at the end of the day the reality of things is you cannot control what happens god has a final say let's even begin with that not to be all preachy but like you can plan you can make your goal but at the end of the day if that's not in your path if that's not your destiny it's not going to go your way and you get frustrated you let that bother you so much that it confuses you or it makes you lose sight of what's truly important or what your actual goal is or your actual path is even in my previous relationships i don't know about romantic relationships here when i was doing the work on myself before getting into something else i actually did notice that a lot of the things that went wrong quote unquote in that relationship wasn't necessarily things going wrong was things that did not go my way i just wanted them to be a certain way and they just couldn't be that way because that's not who they are but that's who i wanted them to be it came down to the tiniest thing of like you know wanting people to dress a certain way or speak a certain way or do things a certain way or wanted life to be a certain way like 
like in the picture I had in my head of how my life should be my partner should be all of that was what I was trying to achieve but that's not realistic because you're dealing with human beings and not a figure that you created or something that you sculpted or drew or you molded somewhere these are human beings like God's created human beings that have a mind of their own things will go however it wants to go the one thing you should always pray for as a human being is it goes in your favor and at the end of the day even if it doesn't go positively for you it's also going to be for your good and i'm going to be okay with it it's okay to feel negative emotions right about certain things not happening the way you expected them or wanted them to but also realize that not everything that you want to happen the way you want to happen will happen that way realize that disappointment is there for a reason changes are there for a reason changes are important in your life whether it's negative or positive right so however you're thinking something would go isn't necessarily how it would go but either way it might give you the same result you bother yourself so much about things that you literally have no control over things that you cannot manipulate things that are impossible for you to change while there are so many things that are right in front of you that should be your focus and priority but you lose sight you lose time focusing on things that you have no business focusing on i could go on and on about so many things that have gone completely left in my life and how time have been wasted on emotions and stuff that has absolutely no significance in my life but because i just wanted it a certain way that's just what i wasted my entire time trying to make sure that it happens that way so i stopped being in control of everything i just lived life and stopped letting life live through me i started understanding what my purpose is in life i started you know breezing through life trying to be very very intentional about my living but at the same time you know take breaks and rest and sleep and close my eyes and let god lead be okay with somebody else taking the wheel somebody else driving the car somebody else you know pumping the gas and everything like just taking the Backseat. Once I lose my grip on control on every aspect of my life, my life drastically changed. I am more at peace. I'm more okay with myself, with my being, with my purpose, with my work, with my growth, with my career. Pretty much everything I'm okay with. I'm at peace with how things go in my life. That's pretty much everything that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not sure if you're going to see this uh, by tomorrow because obviously it's the last day of the year. When you see this, I hope you had a great Christmas and I also hope that you have a great new year and happy 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 new year thank you guys so much for the love for the year 2023 i really do appreciate every one of you the like the share the comments every one of you is appreciated and i love you guys so 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 much i have my socials linked below if you want to keep up with me moving forward to see what i did on christmas new year all of that my instagram is always like <laughs> bubbling so i'm gonna have those links in the show box below thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one Bye. Those of you that are listening in your car, at your job, and you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, because we're about to go in. Hey, set everybody.